So I think the show uh, has resonates and remains for people um, for different reasons, but one of the things we often hear is people talking about where they were when they watched the show. It was the show that they watched in their freshman dorm. It's the show that they all got together you know, uh, when they were in high school and watched together, or somebody who just left California and made them homesick, or they just moved to California and made them feel good about it. So it really feels like that it resonates for them as a time in their life and also the show they were watching at that time. I think you always are hopeful that what you're making is something that other people will appreciate and if you love it, hopefully other people will love it too. And the show was very personal from the beginning um, with Josh putting a lot of his his voice and his, his outlook on the world into the Dis show. Dislike of water polo players. <laughs> Um, and I think there were a couple of scenes that we shot uh, in the pilot that we were like, if this, if, if other people feel the way uh, we do now when they're watching it, then we'll have something that people will want to keep watching. I think when we heard that people were uh, like on the trading floor and, you know, like yelling back and forth to each other, welcome to the OC, bitch, right after that episode aired, we're like, oh, this is catching on, okay. Welcome to the OC, bitch. For me, the, the episodes that, that I feel the closest to um, were the ones that we got to visit the bait shop. I spent a great deal of time there. Um, Trying to get bands out of the green room, out of their dressing rooms, yeah. The Seth Summer Spider-Man kiss uh, will, will always be one of my personal favorite scenes. It was something we'd wanted to do for a while, the idea that it rains in Orange County and nobody knows what to do. It's like the worst thing that could ever happen to them. Uh, and we really love that idea of these two characters, especially for Seth who saw the world you know, through comic books, to be able to have this moment with Summer felt pretty fun and special. Kirsten going into the pool house for the first time uh, when Ryan's not there anymore. And these were big music moments too. Yeah. Like I could name the song that was playing for each of those Julie moments. saying, just talk to me about her <laughs> in the yeah. in the uh, first Thanksgiving episode. Let's focus more on the laughs. Society. So many tears, so many tears. <laughs> All right, what are some funny moments? I don't have any. <laughs> I think Seth on the boat at the end of season mm -hmm. one is something that was uh, so powerful and... Until people started telling us how quickly he would die. Yeah. <laughs> people were like, if he actually tried to sail in Tahiti in that boat, he would not survive. He didn't try that hard, he no, ended he up in Portland. Yeah. He got <laughs> the message. For lunch. Yeah, exactly. He didn't bring enough snacks. We had some amazing goodbyes on the show, all of which made me cry. Ryan saying goodbye to Seth in the pilot. Seth and Anna at the airport. Seth and Anna at the airport. I remember when you wrote that scene in my, in my office, we were there on the weekend. And, <laughs> and you went to the restroom and you're like, okay, we'll just sit and read what I wrote. And I sat down and when Josh came back, I was just like chest heaving, sobbing, <laughs> tears everywhere, having to be reassured that Anna was just going to Pittsburgh <laughs> and everything would be okay.